Alright guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at how to make a range item. So first thing that we need to do is we need to go to resources and we need to import a item texture. Uh, we're going to go with our harpoon gun. So uh, next what we want to do is go to our uh, little workshop or mod elements page and then we want to go down until we see range item and we want to give it a name. So we're just going to call it, uh, let's see here, uh, harpoon, and then no spaces, gun. So once we get that created, we can go here, and we can create a texture. We already imported it, so we don't need to worry about that. And this is the normal model, so we don't need to worry about that. And uh, this should all be fine. Uh, if we need to configure it, then we will. So now we want to give it a GUI name. Uh, first thing that we want to do is go and this is the, the name that is displayed in the uh, creative tab or while holding over the item. So what we want to do is make it obvious and then we want to make sure it's under something that is relevant unless you have your mod category it would probably be a good idea just to keep it under combat uh, max stack is one uh, item ammo uh, there's a whole bunch of different blocks and stuff that you can choose from I'm just going to select uh, arrows and then what we want to do is shoot constantly when active. This basically means um, to shoot it uh, like a machine gun or something like that, then it's automatic. So if you want that, then you can check this box. Item usage count. This is basically the durability of the item, so if you want it to have more of a longer dur uh, duration, so range item action sound, so this is um, the sound that the item is being shot. So this is basically for if you have your own custom sounds and stuff like that you can configure that or you could use something that's already in Minecraft uh, for this example we're just going to be using um, the arrow sound so okay and if you have your own custom models and stuff like that you can use it uh, using um, I think it uh, supports Java I'm not entirely sure I might do a different tutorial on how to create these, um, but we'll cover that in a different tutorial. Um, bullet power, so this is the how much uh, distance, I think, like the power of the, the bullet. With a regular bow compared to a crossbow, crossbows have uh, more power. I think it's like in one digit higher or something like that, maybe. Um, but the more power, the less arch you need in order to shoot your your like bow or whatever. So with a regular bow, you kind of have to aim up in the air. Well, that's because the, the power of it isn't very high. If it's a lot of power, then it's going to act more like a crossbow where you just need to point and shoot. Uh, bullet damage, this is how much damage the um, actual projectile will damage the entity. I think this is hearts so if you want to configure this I think it's something like we should be something like 1.5 something like that and that should be one heart or one and a half hearts and bullet knockback is uh, how much force um, the bullet will push the player back when the player is hit or the entity um, I'm just going to leave that at 5. has bullet particles, uh, so basically if the bullet has particles and you can configure that, um, it'll basically act as if when it's in flight or whatever to have particles be going behind it. So we can enable that. Um, does bullet ignite on fire? So you could check this. Basically when arrows go through lava or fire, they'll ignite on fire and I think they do a little bit more damage. I'm not sure though. But you can check this if you want. I'm just going to check that. Item representing texture of bullet. So this is the texture that you want to use for your ammunition for your um, 
your bow or whatever. So this is the item ammo, so this is the mod element. This is the texture that you're going to be using for the item ammo. And um, if you're going to have like a custom model, then I'll get into that in the future. So we want to save the mod element now, and it should be able to create something really quickly. Uh, we'll hop in game. If you want to hop into game, we are on 1.9.0, so the GUI is just a little bit different. We want to click that little play button right here to start the client up. And uh, then we can test this mod out. Combat tab, and it should be in here. The uh, location, I obviously textured it a little bit wrong. <laughs> Uh, it should be facing the other way, so it should be facing the same direction as the bow. So let's um, pull out some arrows because that's what we're using for ammunition. So as you can see, it sets things on fire. Uh, let's see if we can get that. So there's uh, that particle effect that goes that way. So you can see that's what happens with the particle effect. So with the checkbox, having it enabled um, for the fire, it automatically keeps it on fire. So as you can see, that's how it works. Also, it's a good way to get food if you want extra food, I guess. And uh, uh, today's tutorial helpful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you liked about it, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.